What is going on guys, Greggles TV. This is the Wisecam version two security camera. This thing is a beast and uh, they did a version one which I didn't use, but uh, this is version two and it's the first time I'm using a Wisecam and I honestly love it. I think it's amazing. That's a quick little review for you. And now let's get more in depth with it, with the positives and the negatives. And let's start off just by telling you that this camera cost 20 freaking dollars. That's right, two zero, twenty dollars per camera. Now when you get the camera, you get the camera, like I said, uh, which it looks like this and you can extend it out if you need to and um, you know, really place it whatever the way you want. If you wanted to go something like that, you could because it also does come with a uh, sticky material, comes with adhesive like you can see right here, comes with this little metal piece and 3M adhesive. Also comes with a micro USB cable and a brick to keep it going and plugged in. And that is basically it. You download the app and then you get it set up and it's super simple. So let's get into the negatives about this product first. First one would be just like any security camera that I've found lately, maybe except for the Nest, and I don't even think uh, some of these other cameras have it, is it doesn't have two-step authentication. Now, two-step authentication would be great if it had this because, you know, you log into your camera, you set up a password. You know, if somebody just hacks in and either knows your password or even just, um, uh, you know, figures out the password, then they're gonna be able to see all your cameras set up. And this does not have it, unfortunately, from what I saw. Um, so I'd love to see two-step authentication set up so that it, even if you knew my password, you would still need a uh, some kind of like code that was sent to my phone or some other type of code that was maybe saved somewhere um, that only I had access to in order to get to to view my cameras and unfortunately uh, the wise camera does not have that next thing I don't really care for is when you look at the notifications that the camera caught like the little 12 second clips is that there's no screenshot for it it's just all generic you see the time but other than that you don't even see it and even when you click on one you still it takes a second for them then you can finally see it but other than that, yeah, I would love to see you know screenshots of the notification. So maybe I don't want to look at it. Maybe I do want to look at it. Maybe it shows even an animation. That would be really cool. But as of right now, currently there are no screenshots for the notification clips that it's captured. Next up would be when you want to download the clip. There's no download button. You have to hit share. And then when you hit share, you have to either find a way to send it to someone, email it to yourself. I don't see a download button here at all. The only way I could easily download it without having to do anything really would be to upload it to my Google Photos, which is not the end of the world, don't get me wrong, but it's kind of the pain in the ass. I would love to see a download button within this app to download clips a little bit easier. Now you do get 14 days of cloud storage with this camera, uh, but the clips are only 12 seconds. I really wish uh, they gave you either maybe even seven days, but the clips were up to maybe 30 seconds to a minute. I wish there was more control over how long the clip was, because you know what, sometimes 12 seconds is not long enough, but it is long enough it, it, easily to be able to you know see what's going on. Um, but still, I would like more control over the length of the clip in total. And then lastly, there's no web interface for viewing your clips or anything about this camera currently. There's workarounds, people said using TinyCam, um, downloading BlueStack to uh, you know run Android apps on your computer, but that's a pain in the butt. I would love to see a web interface. You know, the Nest Cam has it, Arlo has it, uh, but you know, there's a lot of cameras that don't. You know, this camera is one of them that does not have a web interface, meaning you can go onto a website, view your clips, uh, change the settings on the camera, whatever it may be. This doesn't have it. I would love to see it added one time. All right, guys, now let's talk about the positive of this camera. And again, like I said in the video, I really, really like this camera. Now, not every product is positive and you know it, it's good you should have to grow from some point if it was you know perfect everybody would have it and it would fit every single uh, person's life for the security camera that they're looking for and you know this doesn't but it's still an amazing amazing camera and I'll start off obviously one of the huge positives like I said earlier in the video is the price it's twenty dollars you can literally buy like a Nest Cam for instance I, I have Nest Cams that like you can get a two pack for like $448, okay, now think about it. that's only two cameras, and you have to pay a monthly fee to get a lot of the features that are already free with this camera, and I'll, I'll, I'll say the Nest Cam does look 
and sound better, but this is still freaking amazing, guys. Now check this out. So these cameras are 20 bucks. You could literally buy 20, do, hey Google, what's 450 divided by 20? The answer is 22.5. You could buy 22 and a half of these cameras and that would eventually reach the cost of the Nest Cam. And it's crazy. You can buy so many of these and they look really, really good, guys. Um, that's, you know, that's a great thing about this camera, the price. Next would be the setup. Setup is extremely easy with this camera. You know, you literally open the box, plug it into the wall, you download the app, uh, you hold the camera up to the phone and it takes like a picture of the barcode on the screen and it, instantly done and then you're ready to rock and roll you can go into some of the settings and uh, that's pretty much it and that's the other thing the app is really easy to use to be able to view clips to be able to change the settings to download firmware updates to do anything with this camera it's extremely extremely easy to navigate another cool thing is at the bottom of the camera there is a micro SD slot on the camera and if you put a micro SD card into this camera you get 24 7 video recording for free guys that's right for free and um, I have a 64 gigabyte card in there and it's literally used I think maybe three gigabytes four gigabytes and I've been recording 24 7 video for like three or four days maybe even longer now and I, I, so literally I could probably fit a full month's worth just on a 64 gigabyte card and it's really easy to go in there and view your clips it loads fairly fast and uh, the only thing downside is if someone stole the camera I wouldn't have that 24 7 video but I still would have the uh, cloud storage that I am given with this camera but yeah 24 7 continuous video recording um, in the Nest Cam it goes it does it all to the cloud and that costs um, five dollars uh, per camera and then if you have additional cameras, it's like three dollars per month But if you think about that, you know, this camera Has it for free literally for free and you can still access it and see it as quick as possible uh, Just like you can on the Nest Cam the next amazing thing about this camera is I've already kind of mentioned it before is the 14 days of cloud storage now of course I'd like those video clips to last longer but literally 14 days you can go back and view all your unlimited, you know, 12 second video clips uh, and view those anytime you want. I love that. It's just like this camera gets better and better and better. And then lastly would be the video and audio recordings that this camera picks up. It's not the best, don't get me wrong, but it's good enough. It's up to 1080p video. Uh, you can downgrade it if you want, um, but otherwise 1080p video, it picks up sounds from rooms away. It picks up, when we're in our, we have uh, like a living room and a master room, I don't know what they call it, but a living room and a, I don't know what they call it, but anyways, it picks up the sounds from the other room when we're playing with the baby, you can hear them loud and clear. Um, it picks up video at night during the day and it looks really really good guys uh, There's not enough things nice I can say about this camera if you're looking to get a security camera and you don't want to spend a lot of money This is definitely it. It's not perfect, but it's really really good I wish you could use these outdoors and you probably can use them outdoors Just keep it covered um, and make sure you have a power source outside of some sort either either running it off a um, rechargeable battery or if you have an, uh, some kind of, if you're good with electrician uh, you could you know drill a wall into your house and do something that way but this is definitely a must buy 20 bucks for this thing I'll link it down below if you have any questions or comments leave those down below uh, and that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching and I will see you down the road peace